my ingredients for my macaroni and cheese. I have butter, all-purpose flour, a can of cheddar cheese, I have some smoked gouda, two packs of the elbow macaroni, and I have sharp cheddar cheese, medium cheddar cheese, mild cheddar and Monterey Jack, and you're gonna need eggs. You're also gonna need some Lori seasoning salt and some regular salt. Here I have some hot boiling water. Now that my water is boiling, I'm gonna put my noodles in the water and cook it. I added a box and a half. See, only half. You wanna add some salt to your water. Noodles need a lot of salt. So here I have my pot, I have it on medium high. And you just wanna put half a stick of butter in there and you just wanna make sure you stir it around and get all the butter melted around your pot. So you just wanna keep stirring it until it melts. So you just wanna keep stirring your butter around until it melts and once it's finally melted, you wanna add one fourth cup of flour into your butter. And what this flour is gonna do is going to make a roux. And the roux is kind of like a thickening agent to your macaroni and cheese. And then you just wanna keep stirring it and get it all incorporated so that it's nice and thick and all the flour is melted into the butter. So now that our flour mixture is thickened, we're gonna add two cups of milk and we're gonna keep stirring this for probably about three to four minutes. We wanna make sure that everything is incorporated and it's gonna be nice and thick for the roux and the milk together. Just keep stirring. And stirring, and stirring. And at this time, I cracked one egg in a little bowl and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of the roux and the milk to the egg. And we're going to scramble this all together because we don't want the egg to cook in the milk. So by me adding this um, milk to the egg, it's kind of getting the egg warm so it doesn't like cook. I don't know if that, that, that makes sense. <laughs> But just keep stirring it until it becomes like a consistency and then you throw it back into the pot. And then once you throw it back into the pot, you wanna stir it all together um, so that it doesn't cook and it just like blends right into the pot. And that's exactly what you wanna do is just keep mixing it and mixing and mixing. So here's where we add all the delicious cheese. And here I have one can of cheddar cheese. Just wanna make sure you empty it all out to the pan. And then here I'm gonna be Pouring out the whole bag of the shredded cheese. Make sure you get everything out. Then I'm adding another bag of cheese. Emptying it all out. Then you wanna stir everything together. So that everything is well incorporated so it stays super cheesy. When you grate the black cheese, it melts a lot better than the shredded cheese. And then here's my Gouda cheese. Smoked Gouda cheese is the bomb. It's going to bring so much flavor to the macaroni and cheese. If you've never had Gouda in your, um, in your macaroni and cheese, y'all missing out. Make sure you stir it, because at this point it's like thick, it's real thick. And then I'm probably gonna add, yep, I'm gonna add about another bag 
of cheese. And you just want to make sure you stir it all around and get it nice and smooth. Once you got your cheese nice and smooth, you want to throw in your um, macaroni. And I only cook mine's al dente because remember, you're still going to put this in the oven, so it's still going to cook. Then you want to make sure you stir, stir it all together. Make sure all the cheese is incorporated with all the noodles. Just keep stirring until everything is well combined together. Then you want to add in your seasoning. Just add in your lorry salt and then stir. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Y'all know me, I'm a little heavy handed. Then I'm just gonna taste it. Yep, and it's popping. Just a little bit more. <laughs> A little bit more, just a little tiny salt. And stir it around. And you know we is good. So now I'm buttering up my 9 by 13 with some butter. Y'all know, it's gotta be butter. It's gonna make your macaroni cheese so good. So just butter that all up. Okay. So now that you got your pan all butter up, what you want to do is make sure you get all your macaroni and cheese in the pan. All of it, because every little macaroni is scrumptious. Okay? So just get it all in your pan, make it nice and smooth. And that's what you want to do. Once you get it all nice and smooth, I forgot to say that we are going to add some breadcrumbs. This is gonna give the top this crispy, crunchy, yummy texture in the front. And this, you don't wanna miss this part because I think this kinda makes the macaroni and cheese. You just wanna spread it all around the pan. It's up to your preference how much you want. I just like to do a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some of my remaining cheese and I'm gonna put it all on top. Spread it all out. This is gonna be super, super cheesy. So, sorry to all the people who are lactose intolerant. Y'all can't have this. <laughs> and then add some more breadcrumbs on top. So, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And you want to pop it in there until it is nice and golden. You see that? Ooh, it's all bubbly and cheesy, scrumptious, and ready to eat. And here's the beautiful macaroni and cheese. And here it is. I had made some butterfly shrimp in the oven. And I'm eating it with macaroni and cheese. Look at this. The crispy on top. And the creamy macaroni and cheese. Look at all of that. Yummy, cheesy macaroni and cheese. This is the bomb, y'all the bomb if you guys haven't already please go like share and subscribe